A team of physicians from MD Anderson Cancer Center and the Houston Methodist Hospital transplanted for the first time a skull and a, and a scalp. Uh, and we did this together with the transplantation of a kidney and pancreas, which is also uh, a first. This groundbreaking event demonstrates what we can achieve together for institutional collaboration uh, and really is the power uh, of what we can achieve at the Texas Medical Center when we do collaborate. I met Jim Boysen four years ago, August 4th in 2011 at MD Anderson, and he came for the treatment of a debilitating uh, skull and scalp wound and it was the result of the, tr uh, the treatment and the affliction of cancer. And he had had multiple surgeries and he had radiation therapy and he had a full thickness wound of the scalp and skull that went all the way down to the brain. Now we do scalp reconstruction in general, uh, but what made Jim special is he had been the recipient 20 years earlier of a kidney and pancreas transplant for juvenile di diabetes. And this complicated the situation somewhat because uh, for fear of infection after transplantation, this wound was preventing him from getting his vital organs. And so that day I thought, well, would it be possible to transplant the skull and the scalp together with the kidney and the pancreas all at the same time and all from one donor? Well, I think they just found the right guy at the right time. Um, <laughs> when I had my pancreas done, that was experimental too. So they were like, how would you like not to do shots? you know, insulin shots. It's like, sign me up. And I was kind of like that here. It was, you know, sure. I mean, I, I couldn't get the transplant surgery I needed for the organs without fixing my scalp, but I couldn't fix my scalp because of the failure of the organs. So I was in a catch, you know, like a 20 rock in a hard place. And so I said, sure, you know, I'm, I'm open to that. And on Thursday, May 21st, uh, we got the call from LifeGift. And they said, we, we may have a suitable donor. And so Dr. Gaber approved the organs, and I approved the scalp and the skull and uh, all the things that we had set up and all the work that we had done clicked into action. And uh, what, what ensued after that was 20 hours of coordination of care followed by 15 hours of some of the most uh, fascinating and complex surgery I've ever been a part of, which required a dozen surgeons and, uh, and countless staff and, and health professionals as well as the, the spectacular coordination my life gift. They did an excellent job, and I'm still kind of in awe that I'm up and walking after two weeks. And I think some of them are kind of shocked. And uh, um, not shocked, just surprised, I guess. And I would really like, like to thank the donor's family. I feel much better than I did two weeks ago, believe it or not. <laughs> it's a landmark event for the Texas Medical Center and for medicine, and it's a, it marks a new beginning for a very special patient, uh, Jim Boysen.